morning you guys i really don't know what to eat but i just got home i was gonna go to the stores to look for more stuff of course everything's for ava um but at the same time i'm like let me just focus on what i have on my list right now because i think i'm if i go to the store today i'm gonna do too much impulsive buying which is gonna be spending a lot and it's for ava her birthday not birthday for christmas so there's stuff um that's saved on tiktok shop and then on amazon so i need to be careful i feel like some of the stuff can wait until like right before christmas the week before christmas so we'll see because i get paid again but yeah i'm just gonna do a black bean it's been a while i have some extra leftover god knows when mandu um actually you know what I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. Yes. And have that on the side. So we're just gonna boil this up. And then add the sauce. I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna forget what to do. Yeah, I just pour the sauce in once the noodles are cooked. But yeah. I wonder if I have any more dumplings. So I found some fish cake. I didn't close it all the way, so maybe frostbite. I need some shrimp on the side. Gonna put in the air fryer. Howdy again. I am going to wrap Ava's presents. I am using the same wrapping paper from last year because it's still a lot left. So, because of my friend, I have been obsessed with this pattern. Buffalo check. And I just feel like it's classic. It's Christmassy. Maybe in your future, my mindset will change, but I just love it because you notice I have a lot of that pattern going on in my apartment, and I don't know if I will ever get sick of it. So I'm wrapping once Ava's gifts. I think I might have her open this on Christmas Eve because it's something that she can use. So I want to show you too much. But yeah. Let's see. Just gonna. I think I ran out of tape or Ava like plays with it yeah I'm gonna put on um fast mode in a corner there there's two right here and then two right here okay i have one more to wrap because i thought about more stuff but i guess it didn't again i'm trying to be careful not to like impulse buy because everything is just so expensive so try and do this with Avis and see just watch my video so it's safe to like i'm trying to wrap all these shapes stuff so basically you just measure and not measure like put the whatever object it is and see how big it is okay and then take it out so let me see if i get this right you can fold it in half i gonna screw up somehow Art. Now I can look at my video again. There, I did it. I don't know how to explain it, but you pretty much fold the bottom first as if you were wrapping an actual present. Tape that, and then I can't explain. Google. Good morning, guys. Early. It is Friday. Happy Vlogmas. Day number eight going for my repeat breast ultrasound.
gave me only like one gown. This one's kind of like short. I feel like I'm at a spa. Maybe the <coughs> technique is different because this time it's an ultrasound, not like a mammogram. That's what I'm assuming, but I always feel nervous. It was quick, but now I just have to wait for the oncologist to take a look and clear me. Kind of nerve-wracking. She said if it takes more than a minute, it's because we're in like a meeting or something. Great. But it was quick. It's actually not bad. Very comforting. So it's basically like an ultrasound. Um, like if you're pregnant, that machine just goes on you like this. This is what I'm But yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm sure it's nothing. Hey guys, yeah, last night I passed out because I was so tired, so I didn't get to upload, and I've been sleeping on a couch, but, um, another update, I just had a little cry, um, you guys know I had a mammogram, and, um, it's abnormal, there, something called auxiliary lymph nodes on my left breast, my right side is fine, so the one on the left side is suspicious. Um, and then so I had to do an ultrasound. So got the ultrasound early this morning. It's like the same thing as, you know, when you're pregnant, they put the gel and, you know. And I had to wait there. It was a little bit over five minutes for the the oncologist to look at the readings x-rays whatever came back so it's showing three um large lymph nodes um they're all different sizes and there's a the bigger one of course so now i am referred to a surgeon consultation and yeah they're gonna go through stuff and i don't even know like what kind of questions to ask and then I also have a an appointment for the actual biopsy, and I'm trying not to like be off work and stuff. But and it's the end of the year. I mean, I do have POT, but it's like God forbid if something worse happens. I don't know like how many hours I'm gonna have for next year because uh, I've been here a long time, but it's just <coughs> yeah. So my. Breast biopsy is scheduled for the 22nd because I realized that I'm off that day. And I know I shouldn't care about work, but I was looking at, at all our days. It's just too busy, and I just didn't want to lose any more days of work. So I was like, I'm off on the 22nd. I'll just use that day off to get my biopsy. Now I'm getting really nervous. It started to hit me because... First, they called me to schedule an appointment, the navigator nurse, navigation work nurse. And then later in the evening at work, the I, maybe another nurse or something from the surgeon's office that I'm going to see on Monday called me and asked if I had some time. So she had a lot of questions to ask. There were a lot of um stuff i couldn't answer because i'm adopted like family history and stuff but they went through every single detail that i already filled out online you know because i'm a new patient and tuesday i had my follow up on my blood pressure y'all so i'm on the amlodipine i have high blood pressure and the last time i checked my blood pressure oh nice honey heart my blood pressure is back to the 120 so the amlodipine is working oh okay so the amlodipine's working, so that's my follow-up. But it's like, <sighs> for the holidays, it's getting to me. Yeah. I mean, if anybody has any experience, comment below. I mean, I've had tattoos. I've had a biopsy before when I was younger, not my boobs, but I had like um, a bump or something around my um, down under. And I was, they did a punch biopsy that was painful i mean i don't know what's worse this needle biopsy or that but i i i, I have tattoos so <sighs> and i watched so many videos already which is bad but that's how i am and it really really hit me when the surgeon called me 
So yeah, I'm gonna like probably brainstorm some questions. Yeah, like I know I shouldn't think too much, but then now it's like I feel like I'm young, and then I'm thinking about because I don't have like a husband, I don't have a family, and all I have is Ava. And God forbid, it's like I don't want to die young and leave my little munchkin. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking too much here. I'm, a, um, yeah, I'm in life. It is what it is, but like, why? Right before the holidays. And then I was just thinking, like, <coughs> this whole time, if I didn't decide to set a physical finally, because I wanted to change doctors for the longest time, because I've been seeing the same doctor for like years and years, but again, like nothing's ever wrong with me, so I never go. But every time I go, it's just like I don't have a connection. She kind of like brushes things off, and I felt like she wasn't taking anything seriously. I mean, she did her job, but it's like whatever. So I've been procrastinating for like almost a whole year, and I finally decided to like find a new person, start over. And this one I met like two weeks ago. So far, so good. And then, of course, I'm 40, so. The first thing you need to order is a mammogram and yeah but like imagine if i didn't even bother to do this and wait until like middle of next year or even the end of next year and i could be walking around with this freaking lymph node and not know because i don't have any symptoms and no i did not touch my boobs like every time i get a pap smear they ask me do you touch it uh, not really i forget like i mean if i scratch it or whatever i'll like press my boobie but i just don't take it seriously which is sad and i'm in the medical field but it's those things where you like it can't happen to me and if you ask like family history i don't know i don't know i am adopted so i don't know nothing about any family members or whatever but it's so weird. Like, I don't know if I jinxed myself. So I was like, something's going to be up with my boobs. I just know it. I just feel it. And uh, maybe I just say to the universe, and this is what happens. But yeah, I'm afraid about the pain. I'm afraid about the after the procedure of being sore. And also, I'm thinking, like, maybe because I moved and I injured my left side somehow because... I'm, I'm always doing everything by myself. Like, I'm carrying things by myself. I do a lot of heavy lifting, whether it's at work or, or you know, personal time, groceries, the constant cleaning, the repetitive arm lifting. I don't know. I don't know too much about cancer. But, yeah. I hope it's benign. I've been sticking too far ahead because I've seen too many, like, you know, radiation medications, losing hair, losing your boob. All I know is, like, I cannot leave this earth. I, I need to grow old and watch Ava grow. Because she's all I have. I literally broke down earlier. And I, I know she's next to me. I, li I literally told her, like, <coughs> I wake up because of you. I work my ass off because of you. Everything I do is be for you. you. You are why I wake up. Yeah, and I miss her so much this week. And next week, I feel like I'm not going to see her because I have my early appointments. So, yeah. I feel a little stressed out. I feel a little stressed out now. What, but, and Not yet, but okay. just everybody keep me your prayers. I feel like, like, oh, one day after another. But, yeah. That's my update. I'll keep posting stuff of course and happy vlogmas at least now i have something to talk about right yep get your boobies checked y'all get it checked <laughs>